okay, now that we've got our image put together, uh, we've got to start building this little uh, frame to put it in. So let's set him aside for a sec. And let's make a new document, file new. And let's just make it 8 by 10. Whoops. All right. Fresh, clean document to work on. So the first thing we got to do is um, work on this outside case. Or the I guess the mat that the thing is sitting in. So uh, easiest way is we're going to just grab the picker tool here. Click in here and get a sample of this color. Switch to the paint bucket tool. And there we go. Okay, so we got the right color now. Now what we got to do is add a little bit of texture to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this layer, drag it down here. So we've got two of the same thing. And while the top one's still highlighted, I'm going to go to Filter, Texture, Texturizer. Um, I think we'll leave it on sandstone. It's set to 86 and 5. Hit OK. And then we're just going to kind of look at it. I'm going to zoom in one time. And it's a little bit too much texture, so I'm going to take this opacity down just a little bit. About like that, I think, is good. Okay. So then the next thing we want to work on is these little scuff marks and things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click down here, make a new layer like that. Then uh, you're going to pick a brush and it's nice if you've got, oops, wrong one. There we go. It's nice if you've got some kind of scribbly type brushes like this. Um, and you can see I've just cleaned out my brush palette over there, so I don't have very many in there. But what you want to do, switch it to black. And you're going to just kind of go through here and put some random marks around here. And it's not going to look very good right now, but we're not too worried about that. Just go through, try and vary it up a little bit, some scuffs. And if you've got different brushes, um, you know, try it with a little hard brush. It's probably, you don't really want those round circles, so I wouldn't really recommend doing too much with that unless you really wiggle it around some because you don't want any hard edges. Um, you know, you could even take some of these really um, crazy patterns. Oops. Bring it down really small and kind of scribble it around. Whatever you have in your brush palette will generally work. Just got to go through, spread it out like this. Just put some marks around like that. And you'll vary them, have some darker than others. So you got something like that. Then all you're going to do right here is you're going to change this mode to overlay. And there, now we've got these nice little stains all around the image. And you just take the opacity down until it's how you want it. I think maybe about like that's probably good. So we can still kind of see them, but they're more or less gone. So I'm pretty good with the mat. Now I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. Just do layer, flatten image. Okay. So now what we need to do next is work on this little piece that's going to go inside. And here's how I'm going to do this. A few different ways we can do it, but um, let's go ahead and bring up our grid. So view, show, grid. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to switch here to the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to grab right here at four blocks in, right on the corner of that square, down to the corner of that square. And it's kind of made us this little square here. I'm going to, before we do that, we need to double click here on background. Hit OK, so it turns to zero. Now we're back here, we've got our highlight, our, uh, our marquee, we're going to hit delete, clear out that opening. While I still have um, the, uh, the marching ants going around there, I'm going to come down here, create a new layer. I actually want this layer to be underneath, like that. And then I'm going to fill this with this color right here. So what I will do is switch to the paint bucket, make sure I'm on here. What I'll do this time is I'll hold down the option of the Alt key 
and I'm going to try and get this color probably right down in here. I don't want it up here where it's too light, but maybe right down in there where it's a little bit deeper. Come over here, click on this document. See, I got my ants back. Make sure I'm on the new layer. Click. And it's going to fill it in. Now, you can see that it's a little bit off. I'm going to go over here and try a little bit lighter, maybe right there. Come back like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to hit uh, Command D, get rid of those ants, and I'm going to go up to View, Show Grid, get rid of the grid. Now what I want to do, well, I've still got this second layer, let's go ahead and call this, um, We'll call it, let's just label these, double click on it, call the top one Matt, the next one we will call, we'll call this the paper. There we go. Now what I'm going to do here is add a little bevel around this thing. I'm going to do it while I've got this layer highlighted. I'm going to go down to the FX, Bevel Emboss. And I'm going to go with an inner bevel, Smooth. Click to change that to Down. And I'm going to bring the opacity down on this though. So it's kind of giving me this faint outline like this one has, but it, I don't want it too sharp. So you can see I've just brought that down to about, oh, about 19%. Hit OK. So now we're set up. We've got our outer bevel. Let's just put these at the same size. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I think that's pretty similar. All right, next step. Let's take this guy and toss him into the image here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, we're going to take him and drag him in. And depending on what size you you created him, he's probably going to be way too big. But go ahead and put him in between the mat and the paper so that we can see exactly what's going to show and what's not going to show. Then I want you to do uh, Command T, so like that, to free transform. And what we will do is hold down Shift and drag in these corners. Again, you want to make sure you hold down shift while you're doing it or else you'll get a, a distorted image. I'm going to bring it in until he's about as, I still want to keep him as tight as I can. So I'm just going to bring in the sides like that. Okay, so I know I've got image all the way to the sides of the mat and, and then up to there. Hit it return. There we go. So now he, was sit he is sitting on top of the paper. Let's go ahead and drag him down under the paper like that. Now all we have to do is clear out where we can see him. So we click on the paper layer, right here, click on the little square with the circle in it that's going to create a mask, just like that. Switch to black, grab your paintbrush, grab a soft brush, just like that. Make sure you're back on this document. And then we're going to start here in the middle where we know he is. And you see I've got my brush set to about 30%. Go ahead and set it to about 50. Just trying to get an outline of where exactly he is through here. And we know we want, we're kind of just doing a rough sketch. I know I want to leave this area free for the, the wording down here, so I'll make him to about like that. And I know I want to leave a little on the sides. So I'm kind of just sketching out my basic area. I'm going to go just above his head, this side. So that's the basic shape I want. Just like that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have trouble with this being uneven, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to 100%. Make the brush a little bigger. And go ahead and just completely clean out this area. I'm not touching the edge of that boundary, but just kind of like that. There we go. Now what I've got to do is kind of clean up this line because it's a little too hard of a transition right there, and I'm going to do that two ways. One is I need to lighten up my background just a little bit. It's a little too dark for, for this paper that it's on, so I'm going to make sure I've got that highlighted. I'm just going to switch to the um, Dodge tool. Let's bring that down to about 35. And just do a few little whisks along here just to kind of lighten up that transition between him and the background. There you go. I think I like that a little bit better. Okay, so we're back up here. Click on the mat again, on the mask rather, 
And let's take our brush, switch back to the brush. Still on a soft brush, let's take it down to 28%. A little smaller here, about that size. And then we're just gonna kinda go along the edge and make sure we've got it shaped exactly how we want it. And as we can see over here, this is a little cleaner of a line in some places. Other places it gets kind of uh, blurry. I need to give a little more space around his head. There we go. Now I'm gonna switch to white, which is gonna sort of cover him back up. I'm gonna take it down to about 20% and just do some whisks along the bottom. You can see here how a little that image kind of gets softened. I'm going to soften these edges just a little bit. And this is something you're probably going to want to take a little more time than I'm doing. I'm trying to get through this thing, but you probably want to take a little more time in uh, figuring out how you want that circle to be and maybe even tweaking the image inside so it matches up a little closer with the map. But we're getting pretty close with this right here. All right. Got that in place. Now we got to put our text in. So we'll switch back to black, the text tool. And you're going to want to look for a font or a typeface like this. It's kind of this handwriting one. As you can see up here, I'm on this Kunzler script, which if you don't have that, you can probably uh, Google it and find it online. But there's probably even better ones that kind of make this old timey writing. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer. Move it up here to the top, make sure I can see it. Click right down here, and I can see we've got way too big, so let's bring that down to 18 or something. I don't know how big it needs to be. Let's try 30. And let's just put a name, John Smith, John Q. Smith, just like that. And you can see it's kind of faded here, so I'm going to take the opacity down on this layer a little bit to about... 70%. So we can still see it nicely, but it's um, faded out a bit. Um, down here, it looks like they've got some, I can't even read what that says, probably like the studio information. You could just put that down here with a, a really faded typeface. I'm going to leave that out um, for this. I'm going to go ahead and add, add the last piece, which would be your signature. I'm going to switch back to black, grab a pen, and grab the hard pen right there with the hard edge. Again, make a new layer. Dun, dun, dun. Get down to a little tiny brush. Assign your name. Oh, undo that. Make sure you've got your opacity up to 100%. Assign your name. Just like that. Then I'm Command T once again. Make it shrink it down. Get it down. Whoops. down into the corner like that, hit enter. And again, it's uh, a little too dark, so I'm gonna take the opacity down. About like that, about oh, 50%. And there you go. And that's pretty close. Again, it'd be a lot better if we had him in an antique outfit, but uh, you can see we got a pretty good look of the, the overall feel of the thing. And uh, from here, it's just a matter of kind of going in, deciding if you want a few more smudges, maybe working on that transition line and uh, and going from there but that'll get you pretty close and I hope that helps if you have any questions be sure to let me know and check back for more tutorials soon thanks a bunch bye bye